Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. I do a lot of different things here and today's video is a tour that my videographer Kyle did for me on the west coast because I am stationed on the east coast. So he does a lot of the tours for me and you'll be seeing a lot more of him. However, he is extremely informed and well educated in the van life space and he does the tours the exact same way that I do them, which I love. Today we are featuring a good friend of both of ours, Dave. He owns UDO, which is a van building company that does van builds that are completely out of this world. You're gonna get a lot more information out of Dave and Kyle in the upcoming video, but be sure to check out all the other videos that I do because I live in a tiny house, I do a lot of building on the side, and I have a podcast that will be coming out soon if it isn't already out now. Check out everything and enjoy the video. We are back with another van tour. I obviously am not Jared, but this is the second tour that I've done, and this is on a van that I got to help build. So this is Dave right here. He's the owner of UDO in San Diego, and this is the Blue Dream, so let's hop into it. Say sup, fool. <laughs> Say sup, fool. Nothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're at Fiesta Island. This is Dave. He's the owner of UDO, like I just said, but can you tell us more about this van? So this is a 1994 Ford Econo line. It is two-wheel drive for all you haters out there but lifted and can handle itself just fine. My friend and I, Cody, we built this together along with Kyle, and uh, he kind of kitted up the outside, did the paint, added all the bumpers, ladders, things like that. This camper top came on the vehicle. It was a camper van when we got it, um, and we just kind of redid the inside. So the outside is a prelude to the inside it's pretty nice something that i like about it being a camper is all of the storages out here so we're going to talk about some of the outside features first so right here you've got a ladder there's also like a surf rack and then can you show us the outdoor shower is it unlocked right now let's see is it unlocked right now is it unlocked it is not unlocked it's not unlocked right let me get the key take two we're going to unlock the shower that's outside so something really cool about these vans is they came with all of these like little lock boxes on the side because it is a older camper and it's very nice to actually have those on the side of the vehicle <laughs> all right so we've got the shower open this is a perfect spot for it because after you get done you hang your surfboard up and then you just rinse off so can you show us i don't know if there's any water in it but you just like pull it out. out i'm not sure if the pump's on right now but you know nozzle open it up in here <laughs> There's a little bit in there. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and jump to the back. Let's see what we've got going on for accessories. Cool, there's a bunch of stuff here. On an older vehicle, you really don't see this type of build. So let's go ahead and talk about everything on the backside here. Got our spare tire here, tire bag for trash. Pack it in, pack it out, put whatever you want here. Uh, we also have the Illuminous box attached to an American Backroad Co. bumper on the back and they did one for the front as well super was bad custom ass. wasn't it yeah custom cool. custom they do they're starting a line for sprinters but they do kind of kit out econo lines at this point ambulances vans whatever very nice also something that's on this vehicle that you really don't ever see is a flare space on an older econo line so was that your idea or cody's idea on that one this was cody's right here yeah, Cody found these flares, he installed them, and he painted everything. What was it, Raptor or Hercules liner? Which Raptor one liner. Raptor liner, very nice. All right, let's hop on the inside and check out this sweetness. So as soon as you walk in, you can see some insane stuff going on. So tell us a little bit more about this. So you can see the door panels here, custom upholstery done by our friend Angelo's Upholstery out of San Diego. Does super sick work, uh, a lot of old cars, and usually helps me out with the vans and Cody as well with the vans. You can see some trim work here. We got a little detail going on. Pretty yeah, sweet. I, I, I kind of remember doing that stuff. Yeah, Kyle uh, executed this here. <laughs> well, you know. Yep. What, so, what type uh, of woods are we looking at? There's a bunch of go, uh, bunch of wood grains going on. So we've got bamboo ply and purple heart is Very what nice. we used in this van. I really like the contrast and I think it really makes it stand out it does it does so it looks like there's a door right here what is that door yep this is for our propane for the hot water heater for the shower 
and also access to the vent tubing for the toilet inside of this box right here. Very nice. So that's a toilet box. Yep. Nature said toilet. Nature said toilet. Anything else in there? Nope. That's it. No, Storage. No shower. St showers up there. But in that box. Oh, in this box. Yeah, yeah in that yeah, box. Dude. We got a shower box, so it's a toilet and a shower box. Yes, a toilet and so a let's shower. Let's go ahead and start there since we're entering the room. So go ahead, show us how this thing works. So you kind of just flip this bad boy up here. We don't have the curtain right now, but you can see that there's hooks in the ceiling in various locations. There's a curtain that um, straps in here with some carabiners and you kind of just drape it into the shower box. You can move the toilet out if you need to, or sit on it, but close the door. This is all sealed. We did the inside of the shower box with some epoxy panels and sealed all of the seams up. So that way when you drop the curtain in here, uh, it's 100% waterproof. There's a drain in the floor. So you have a nice little shower. This is our head right here. Open that bad boy up. Same as outside. Shower has not on right now, but you get the idea do some fun camera work sitting there but it is on swivel seats all of this upholstery was done by angelo's upholstery here in san diego but we're on swivel seats on both sides i believe which makes it super easy and i'm going to be sitting there for the rest of the tour so he can talk about everything let's move on to the kitchen what do we got here well pretty much got everything you need faucet pretty deep sink can pretty much wash any pot any size dish in the sink right here Got a two burner gas stove. We did gas in this rig. And then you also have your ice go chest freezer right here, which pulls out. Top loaded. Yep, top load. But, there you go. Very nice. This also acts as your step up to the loft bed. So if you want to get in the loft bed easy, pull that guy out, get up in there. Cody owns this van and he's got some kids, so that's pretty much where the kids stay, right? Yep, this is the little kid's nook and there's also a cushion that goes right here as well for a little bench or bed extension if you wanna hang out. Okay, so something that I actually appreciate working with you was figuring out that lighting doesn't have to be boring and you've done some pretty insane stuff in here. So tell us more about like the idea behind this. I know you have a, an idea for this van, so lighting was a big part of it. So like I said, it's kind of like a surf safari slash space rig. Build it with spaceships in mind. This light right here, <clears throat> travels around and kind of goes to the back and has a bunch of different options, functions, colors, patterns. You can hook it up to your Bluetooth and it'll kind of um, go with the music as well. I know that this is a very large bed. What size is this thing? This is a queen bed. It's not always like that though. There is a pass through. I'm gonna sit down here. Yep, get out of the way. So talk about this. So that pass through has a basically a plank underneath it that is causing a bed platform. You can take that out, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. So there's an insert right here that sits on two rails on either side of these cabinets right here, kind of in the garage area. If you didn't want the bed in here, if you're using it for work or just kind of um, using it for day to day, you could take this bed out and have two nice benches, which you could also sleep on. They're large enough for that. So there's a couple different options as far as sitting and sleeping goes. All right, so first thing you walk in, you see something that's out of the normal, which is that thing up there. What is that? This is the first ever UDO airlock cylindrical cabinet. So it's a cabinet. It's a cabinet. For and it has story. lighting on it. Yep, and it has lighting on it. So dual purpose, double feature, fit wetsuits, clothes, snacks, whatever <laughs> so anything. anything so i noticed you have one on one side and then it looks like some military grade seat belt stuff what is this so this is a cargo net for a truck bed essentially but i had this idea to have it over here mostly for surfboard storage inside the vehicle so you don't have to leave them out on the rig we saw that we had the surf rack on the side but if you're in the city wanting to go in to get some coffee or a snack 
I wouldn't want to leave my surfboards outside, so we wanted an option to be able to store them inside. But you can kind of tuck your bedding up here, roll your mattress up, whatever you want to do, and just stick it in there. So you can tell kind of like by looking at this, lighting changes course basically throughout this build. So it like starts high left, goes right, goes down, it's all over this place. So your lighting, I want to talk about it again. There's no direct lighting in here. No. You like indirect lighting. We love indirect lighting. Definitely why, why sets is that? the mood. Uh, I mean, for me, during the day, I'm going to have the doors open, the windows open, nice natural light coming in. But at night, you know, I don't want bright overhead lights blasting my eyeballs out. And uh, I think giving indirect lighting gives you many different options to set the kind of mood that you're looking for inside of a vehicle. I find indirect lighting just to be too much most of the time. Definitely, I agree. So there is one puck light in this entire build and it's not even direct light. So this was my idea, which is really funny to me. I was like, let's put a puck light up here. There's a puck light up here. So you have more light for cooking, but there's also lighting, if you can see underneath the entire thing and it's all indirect and it's really cool so the countertops here this is part of the epoxy panels that you were talking about earlier as well right yep so how did you do your epoxy countertops so these are quarter inch panels painted with black and then we did a thin layer of epoxy and took the paint that we used on the outside the raptor liner which is this blue sparkle color and kind of drug it through the epoxy before it's set up and dried just to give it this kind of spacey, uh, textured, sparkly look. Yeah, it's kind of galaxy looking. So if I remember correctly, we have it on the countertop, the backsplash, headboard, footboard, and the shower here is all coated in it, correct? Yep. Pretty much your idea for the whole vehicle, it was to build the spaceship because UDO is stands for what? Uh, unidentified driving object. Okay, so you're obviously obsessed with aliens. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So your your vision for UDO was to build spaceships like van or vans like spaceships that are pretty much out of this world. Yes, I think that whether you're in a spaceship or a van, you are essentially time traveling and putting yourself out there in the universe. And I think it kind of goes hand in hand, space travel and just travel in general and just having a unique and open mind and outlook on life. I just think they go together well. So yes, it's very much spaceship alien influence because you never know what you're gonna find when you're out there. That's very true. So we're gonna go to the back again and we're going to open up the doors see the electrical system in here that's powering all of this cool stuff. So we are in the back part again of the van, which is essentially the garage. Dave had mentioned earlier, he's got lighting trailed, tracked through the entire garage area because remember this does come up. So you want some really cool lighting in there as well. There's cabinetry. So tell us more about the stuff that's going on back here. So in this cabinet right here, we have a 25 gallon fresh water tank stored um, in the lower section. And then you have a pretty long storage cabinet here which you can pretty much fit anything uh, and then on the left side we have another decently sized storage cabinet in the front and then underneath there's a little secret pocket we won't show it to you right now but <laughs> there it's in there and then you can see we have a diesel heater and a jackery powering this entire van we kind of wanted to do a removable electrical system uh, and be able to have a multi-use generator that you can pull in, take to the campsite, take in your house, do whatever you need to do, run power tools if you got to work on the rig, on the road. So that's kind of the idea about running it off of this portable power unit. Yeah, I do like that. It doesn't have to be a jackery though. We started out with an Anchor 757. Yep. We personally didn't care for that one and then we put my personal 767 in there and it worked really well. But this one has worked pretty well for Cody, he says, right? Yeah, so far he hasn't had any issues. Very nice. So if we're looking through the back, you can almost tell that it's nighttime out here, as you can see. The mood in there is right. All right, tell us about the ceiling. What was your idea with this? Because there's so many curves going on, some, some weird angles. Yeah, I had kind of a general idea of how I wanted to do the ceiling, but I really had to see how the walls and all the weird levels came together before I could design the ceiling. So <clears throat> I wanted it to be textured and give some different areas and different depth and uh, just give your eye 
really something to look at and be drawn to. The contrast with the Purple Heart really kind of outlines the different levels of the ceiling, which I really like because <clears throat> it stands out on the bamboo. But you can kind of see we did what we could to follow the contours of the vehicle and this is just kind of how it naturally came together. Yeah, because 40 condo lines are not easy to build out. There's a lot of weird shapes in them. Anything else you want to talk about with uh, with the build? No. No. <laughs> All right, guys. So you, you heard it here first. This is Dave from UDO out of San Diego and they are building some crazy things and when i say they i mean dave myself and whoever wants to come build with us someday so i hope you guys have uh some questions for us this vehicle is actually for sale isn't it yes it is for sale i don't know how much this vehicle is for sale but if you do contact somebody do you know cody's it's like cody underscore p on instagram we'll link it below jared will and i hope you guys have a great day anything you want to say later peace